it's approaching the supreme moment reality striking closer than it seems don't it go ahead so we're all awaiting the release of a lr unit for the extreme physical type we're not counting lr guinea force because i just don't think the card is going to be released on global anytime soon plus it's not a summonable lr unit there's been a lot of conversations about what character should be or which one people want as an extreme physical lead like the perfect cell and cell juniors which would be a very cool idea uh, where the card would be the category lead for the cell saga you know team building could be interesting and would provide diversity on the cards that could be included it could be a bit cluttered though like the full power category where you're going to have to prioritize whether you want to go with a super or extreme type teams with that being said who would i like to see as the extreme physical summonable lr unit I'm going to preface this by saying that this is my opinion and will likely differ with most of you. So feel free to comment and tell me your ideas on who you'd like to see as an extreme physical LR unit and what kind of leader and passive skills they should have. Uh, depending on the variety of comments, I may do future videos uh, related to the ideas. Okay, so for me, I would really love to see the extreme physical LR unit to be Android 16. As all of you know, there are a couple of Android 16 units that are in the game right now, but nothing really worthwhile, uh, with the exception of the Extreme Intelligence Strike unit. You know, that was useful for the Prime Battles in the past. Um, I really think this guy deserves a new, much more upgraded card since he played an important role, you know, in the manga and anime during the uh, Cell Saga. So let's talk about what kind of leader and passive skills this guy should have. Bandai Akatsuki have three routes they could take with this. You know, stick to the traditional option of a type specific lead of plus three key and 90% stat boost, like Goku Black, Trunks, Gohan, Majin Vegeta, Broly, and so on. Or category specific leads like LR Vegito, Gogeta, you know, with the plus three key, 170% increase of HP and attack, 130% to defense, or any other variation. Or they could go with a balanced leader skill based on type, regardless of super or extreme, a plus four key, and 100% increases across the board. Uh, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Bojack, Beerus, and Whis uh, would be the ones that fall into that setup. Personally, I'd like to see Android 16 to have a category specific skill. And no, I'm not talking about a category for the androids. I'm almost positive that since Android 21 is yet to be released on Dokkan, she is going to be the likely candidate for the Android category lead. You know, even though there are parts of me that would rather have Android 16 to be the lead for that uh, category since he did represent, you know, a prime, so to speak, for the Androids. The other alternative is an Android 13, 14, and 15 combination LR unit. You know, which would also be very cool, but there's already quite a bit of Android 13 cards already in the game, so I just don't see it happening just yet. I would actually like to see Android 16 as the Cell Saga category lead, and you know, hear me out on this since I'll cover as to why in a second. Uh, for the leader skill, I can see something like you know, plus three key and 150% increased HP attack and defense, um, or any other variation for the category. You know, I personally don't see the need for a secondary leader skill, but uh, obviously an extreme physical, you know, secondary skill set of plus three key and 90% boost would add more, you know, diversity for a villain team option. This is obviously the skills that LR status and doesn't reflect uh, UR and TUR versions of the unit. Uh, for the ultra attack, the obvious pick is Hell's Flash. I just don't see any other technique being selected for it. It just seems appropriate and, you know, the an animation could look amazing. This would, without a doubt, be for mega colossal damage, but having some status effects like greatly lowering defense or stuns could be incorporated, you know, due to the crippling effect of the attack itself, but I don't think that is absolutely necessary. What would make more sense is maybe a percent increase toward defense for all allies with the uh, super attack a activation. So now let's talk about the passive. Keep it a pretty simple. Android 16 gets an attack and defense increase of 80%. However, I think it'd be cool to have a secondary passive that only activates one time. 
since his death directly triggered Gohan's transformation of Super Saiyan 2, I think it'd be cool to have, you know, like a one-time skill, uh, something like survive a KO once and all allies attack increases by 100% for six turns. Um, you know, this could be replaced with a more traditional approach of if HP is below 50% method like LR Gogeta and, and Vegito. That would really set meaning to the passive skill kick it in every battle. I, I was actually thinking of this when, you know, I was considering whether Android 16 should be an Android or Cell Saga category lead. He played more of a pivotal role in triggering Gohan's rage, so I really wanted to see some sort of skill that would relate to this. Obviously, we can't really do that with him being the Android category lead. Alright, so we've covered the leader and passive skills for Android 16, so let's talk about links and we'll knock out the easy ones first. Uh, legendary power will certainly be included. Yeah, others could be Shocking Speed, Prepare for Battle, or Fierce Battle, uh, Android Assault, Infinite Energy, and or Shattering the Limit. Uh, the point here is that he needs at least one or two Link skills that he would share with Saiyans or Cell units in the category. Which brings me to the last point, what characters would fall into this category? So let's cover them real fast. Uh, obvious picks that fall into the category. Uh, Cell, all forms of it. Uh, Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, Future Trunks, Androids 17 and 18, Piccolo, uh, Tien, Krillin, even Master Roshi. Uh, Kami can also technically be included since he fused with Piccolo during the Cell Saga. So with the option of extreme physical types getting uh, a secondary stat boost, you know, it would allow for more variety for a team built around the Cell units. Um, you know, Big Bad Bosses and Nightmare Links would, would certainly help with that. So that pretty much wraps up my idea on how Android 16 would be as an extreme physical type LR unit. Uh, I think it would bring a breath of fresh air to the game and provide some interesting team builds. The SA animation could be great if Bandai put in the effort for him. It'd be really exciting to see his Hells flash with nice visuals. I'll go ahead and say this is probably likely not going to happen and the safe route for, for Bandai would be to release LR Perfect Cell as the extreme physical version. But what do you guys think? Would it be cool to release a good unit for Android 16? What would your ideas and suggestions be as to who should be the extreme physical LR? Make sure to leave a comment so you can all share your ideas. So that pretty much wraps up this video. So thanks for tuning in and hopefully you enjoyed the video.